The Blue Network presents The Land of the Lost. And its discoverer, the well-known storyteller, Isabel Manning Houston. everyone. Do you hear that sound? It's a swift ocean current coming nearer and nearer to carry us down to that enchanted kingdom at the bottom of the sea, the land of the lost. So close your eyes, hold tight to your magic seaweed, and jump aboard with my brother Billy and me. is a wise talking fish, Red Lantern. It was he who first told us about King Findall's wondrous realm and how all the things that are lost up on Earth somehow find their way down there. As we slipped through the magic curtain, we noticed that Red Lantern was wearing a glittering key of diamonds hung about his neck. Gracious, Red Lantern, you look awfully dressed up this morning. Oh, yes. I haven't seen you wear that diamond key since you got it at the codfish ball. Yeah. I thought you only wore it on special occasions, the way a general does his decorations. Well, I'm wearing it for a very practical reason today, Billy. You remember, it's a magic key that will open any lock it touches. Well, sure, I know. Well, the key to the storage pantry at King Findall's palace has disappeared, and the housekeeper, Mrs. Puddingwife, was in such a lather that I told her I'd flip over and open it up for her. With a storage pantry? Uh-huh. Well, oh, gee, maybe she'll give us something to eat. Well, why not? Suppose we go in the side door of the palace here. It's near the pantry. Uh, anybody home? Oh, Red Lantern, sir. Is that you? That's right. And the two young Earth people. Oh, how are you, my dears? Very well, thank you, Mrs. Puddingwife. Ah. Oh, I am obliged to you for coming so promptly, Red Lantern, sir. Such a nuisance not being able to get at my preserves. And His Majesty so fond of dead Sea fruit. Uh, this way, if you please. Oh, did she say dead sea fruit? <laughs> ah, here we are at the pantry. Dear me, sir, I do hope that there magic key of yours will work. It looks almost too pretty to be of any use, doesn't it? Well, well, now, don't worry about that. All I need to do is touch the lock with it, like this. There you are. Gate ajar. Well, I never. It certainly works all right. No wonder the 40 thieves tried to steal it. Uh, what became of the proper key to the door, Mrs. Puddingwife? Well, I'm sure I don't know, sir. It all was hung on a nail in the kitchen with the rest, but it disappeared all of a sudden. Red Lantern. Red Lantern. Oh, mercy. There's King Findall's voice. Uh, what is it, Your Majesty? I think it might be wise for you to see if you can locate the original pantry key over at the lockup of Lost Key. Very well, Your Majesty. I've uh, heard rumors of some rather strange behavior among some of the keymates there lately. This will be a good opportunity to check on what is going on. That is all. Now, I wonder what he meant by that. Oh. Well, we'll soon find oh, out. Oh, must you go right away? Uh, yes, yes, we must. Oh, I thought maybe the young gentleman might like a taste of some of my sea grapes in kelp jelly. Well, uh, some other time, Mrs. Puddingwife. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll save them for a little treat on your next visit. <laughs> Goodbye to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Say, Red Lantern, uh? you're taking us in a new direction, aren't you? Of course. We're going to visit a place you've never seen yet. The lockup of Lost Keys. I didn't know there was such a place. Well, swab my decks. What did you suppose became of all the lost keys? They have to go somewhere, you know. Say, Red Lantern. Yes? I think someone's trying to catch up with us. Huh? That sunfish with the droopy ears. Ah, uh, there, red old headlight. What's flashing? Uh, I ought to ask you that, Long Ear. Tadpoles, Mr. Sunfish covers the events at the lockup for our local newspaper, The Daily Splash. Oh? He's their keyhole reporter. Mean to say you don't know my column, the water spout? Why, it's swim decayed in 30 other oceans. 
how far this little sunfish throws his beams, eh? <laughs> it sounds very interesting. Oh, nobody gets ahead of long here when it comes to skimming the scum. The Fintelligentsia say my stuff is nothing but froth. But they gulp it down just the same. Uh, tell me, Longyear, what's this talk of funny business among the keys over at the lockup? Confidentially, Red, uh, I happen to know some of them are getting kind of jittery having to stay there for good. Oh? Uh, you know, they're used to going in and out all the time. <laughs> oh, hey, my. Uh, this must be the lockup we're coming to. What a strange-looking place. Look, Billy, the entrance. Huh? It's shaped like a great... Big keyhole. Yeah. Oh, Not a bit like an ordinary door. Say, a Red Lantern, how do yeah. we get in? Oh, the Master Key is the only one who can admit us, Billy. Who? The yeah, Master Key. He is in charge of the lockup, you know. There's a knocker in the center. If you bang that a couple of times, he'll let us in. Okay, here goes. <coughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Well, that ought to fetch him. I'm coming. I'm coming. <coughs> My gracious, that's the most tremendous key I ever saw. Well, fire me down. Earth people. Uh, now, now, don't get rattled, Master Key. They are guests of mine, Isabel and Billy. Oh, you're with them, Red Lantern. And Long Ear, too. I didn't see you at first. Just uh, the, the strangers standing there. Uh, give me quite a turn. But, but come in, all of you. <laughs> Gee, Willikins, I never saw such a bunch of keys. Yeah, and the lowdown I could get if they'd only open up. I'd scoop the whole world. Open up? You mean they won't? They can't, the poor guys. No locks. People are always losing keys, but you never hear of anybody losing a lock, do you? You said it, brother. Here's the way we feel about it. Oyster stew without the oyster. Or a blackboard minus chalk. But nothing's quite so futile as a key without the lock. We used to be important. I was carried by a queen. I hid a guilty secret. I could start a great Guardian of the closet where Bluebeard hid his wife. But since our owners lost us, we lead the dullest lives. We walk about and knock about as idle as can be. For if there is no lock about. Golly, that is kind of tough. Yes, but you can't blame them, you know. They're, they're restless. It's in the nature of a key to want to get into something. And if nothing else is available, well, they get into mischief. I bet you see goes to sandflies, Master. The fellow at the bottom of all of this is that skeleton. Uh, 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 not in front of the polywogs, long here. Oh, don't want to scare him, eh? Okay, I'll call him the fellow in the closet. What does he mean, Red Lantern? Oh, just an old troublemaker. Don't pay any attention, Isabel. But is he dangerous? Forget it, Billy. There's not much to him, really. Well, it's my guess all the same. He's organizing the worst element here, banding them together. You mean into sort of a key ring? Now you're jingling. What a story. If it breaks, what a story. Oh, but say, Master Key, I came down here to interview new arrivals, if you've got any. Oh, yes. Well, none of them are very interesting, though. Mostly the latch and automobile type. Uh, any keys from the palace? They're missing one from the pantry there. Well, come and take a look for yourself, Red Lantern. All right. But wouldn't your friends like to see the rest of the lockup while you're busy? Uh, how about it, small fry? Say, that'd be swell. I'll get the turnkey to show you through. 
You there, turnkey? Did you call me, master? Yes, yes, these earth people, uh, friends of Red Lantern, would like to go through the lockup. Their names are uh, Isabel and Billy. How do you Hi, know? Hi, Mr. Turnkey. Step this way, please. Well, I'll see you later, kid. So this is your first visit to our cozy old prison house, eh? Oh, dear, I, I wouldn't call it that. I thought it was more of a, a home for lost keys. Well, a jail used to be my home. Oh. Besides, we might as well be prisoners. I'm not supposed to go out of bounds, you know. Well, say, do any of you ever break the rules and go A-W-O-L? Oh, I don't tell tales out of keyholes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, you old can opener. Open up. What? <laughs> Don't mind Key West. Huh? Key West, one of the Florida Keys, you know. Some of his remarks are a little offshore. But he looks very bright. Thank you, ma'am. Isabel, will you take a look at what's coming? Jeremy, Jeremy, you come from up on earth. Have you seen sweet Alice? I uh, beg your pardon? Have you seen Alice, I said? My Alice? Hey, who is this guy? He isn't even a key. Oh, the, the one who's asking about Alice? Sure. Oh, that's old Ben Bolt. Ben Bolt? Yeah, have a screw loose. That's how he happens to be down here. Oh, Tonky. You'll bring us guests at last from upstairs. That's right, Slylock. Oh, Billy, that's the one who said he was Bluebeard's key. Well, you don't need to act as if he were Bluebeard himself. I don't care. I don't like the way he whispers. I never liked it myself. Oh, we have been hoping for a long time to see someone like you, haven't we, John Key? Oh, yeah? What for? He means it's rather lonely down here, sir. Very lonely. No feasts, no lovely damsels, no midnight murders. Huh? You mean... You like murders? Uh, who do you suppose led Bluebeard's wives to that forbidden room? Not Bluebeard. He warned them to stay away. It was I, Slylock, who whispered to them, Open the door. Open it. No one will know. Oh, what a <laughs> dreadful creature. <laughs> Whoa. No wonder you think it's dull down here without Bluebeard to, to liven things up for you. Ah, but I've made other friends. <coughs> I uh, think his nibs might like to know we're having visitors, Slylock. Quite so. I shall inform him. Hey, who's his nibs? Oh, that's what they call Merely a nickname for a friend of ours. Oh. Mercy, what's that? Why, we're entering the keyboard room now, miss. Oh, how pretty. All black and white. But my goodness, they... Lady, don't pay them no mind. It's, it's just them shops and flats from the lost court. I can find among each other again. I tell you it was in the key of G. Good jump off a cliff, it was in D. You're both wrong, it was in D flat. No wonder that call's been lost for years. They'll never get together on it. Oh, golly, they all look just alike to me. Hey, how do you tell which is which? By the way they sound. Oh, oh we're the major. Why, of course. Yeah, well, uh, how about the other team? Now, in here, you'll find the winder upper department. Say, wait a minute. Aren't you coming with us, Key West? Uh-uh. Why not? Well, I'll tell you, Billy, it just so happens that your friend, the turnkey, turns me the wrong way. What's the matter with him? Nothing I can prove, but the, the master key thinks he's a fine fella. I don't trust him no how. Play both sides of the door against the middle any day. Oh, gee. Billy, we're waiting for you. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Well, so long, Westy. Good luck, buddy. Be careful. Watch your step. I wonder what he meant by that. 
Oh, golly, this whole place is kind of screwy. Better hurry, sir. We've a lot to see yet. And I'm saving the best for the last. This way, after you. Hey, turnkey, what are you doing that for? We always keep that door locked, sir. Oh. Where are we going next, Mr. Turnkey? We're on our way to a most interesting part of the lock-up, miss. The oak-up, miss. The old keep. What's a keep? A sort of old-fashioned dungeon, isn't it? Well, it used to be. Right through this door, please. Billy, why did you lock the door? Yeah. Say, why do you lock each door as we go along? Just a formality. Lockhouse rules, you know. Now, down these steps. It's just... And it's hard to see. <laughs> the light's not very good. I'll say it's not, and it's getting dimmer all the time. I, um, I don't think I care about visiting the keep after all, Mr. Turnkey. Oh, come, come. It's not much farther. It's nearly dark in there. I'd rather go back. Just a little way farther on, my dear. That's it. Well, listen, I want to know the idea of locking all these doors behind us. I don't like this either, lockhouse rules or no lockhouse rules. Come on, let's go back. Oh, not after coming all this way. Open that door, I don't want to see anything else. Ah, but there's someone waiting to see you. Huh? Billy, it's Bluebeard's key. You are a long time coming, turnkey. Sorry, Spylock. But the boy would dawdle behind. His nibs is growing impatient. His nibs again? Say, who, who are you talking about? You'll soon find out when we open the closet at the end of the corridor. Wait here. Come, Slylock. The closet? Holy smokes, Isabel. Then his nibs must be the fellow in the closet. The, the one Long Ears started to talk about when Red Lantern told him not to scare us? Yeah, remember? They said he... Listen! What was that? Something's moving at the end of the corridor. Something that's flickering towards us, like phosphorus in the dark. But I can't see what it is. Dancing in time to that spooky music. Oh. And, and rattling. Oh, Billy, I'm scared. <laughs> Isabel, do you see what I see? It's oh, it's a skeleton. Oh. When the doors have all been fastened tight, and the house is asleep in the dead of night. Through forbidden locks, I glide, I glide, and open them up to see what's inside. <laughs> I pick and I poke and I peek and pry. Look out, or I'll visit you on the sly. I'm the criminal's helper, the burglar's friend. And they tell me I'll come to a very bad end. But I'm too smart for them all. Hee <laughs> hee, there's nothing that's safe from a skeleton key. <laughs> well, my young friends, aren't you proud to meet me? Proud? Me, the Napoleon of stealth. The bony part of Keedom. Well... What's so wonderful about that? Oh, I can do a lot for you if you do a little something for me. For, for instance? Well, wouldn't you like a little more pocket money? I know how to open a certain cash drawer. Why, opening a cash drawer? That would be stealing. Oh, wouldn't you like to get a hundred on your history examination? Oh, I know where the questions are locked up. But who wants to cheat? Oh, a pair of goody goodies, eh? No backbone. <laughs> well, look here. 
What do you want with us anyway? I'll tell you, my fleshy young visitor. My talents are being wasted down here. I want to get back where I came from. Back where things are going on, where there's excitement and risk and crime. Well, what's that got to do with us? I want you to take me back to Earth with you. Huh? Smuggle me out. You can slip me under your coat. No one will suspect. Smuggle you out? So you can get back into circulation and help your crook friends to rob banks and break into houses? Precisely. A and those others, Turnkey and Slylock, I suppose you'd like us to take them out the next time. Exactly. Why, you two are not as stupid as you look. Well, you're as big a numbskull as you look if you think we'd do such a thing. Good for you, Billy. You mean that? You defy me? I sure do. Wait till Red Lantern and the Master Key hear about this. You'll all be in Dutch plenty. Oh, but Red Lantern isn't going to hear about it, my friend. What do you mean? You can't keep us from telling him. Oh, well, how can you tell him if you never see him again, hmm? Never see him again? I will not have my plans betrayed. Slylock? Press the button that opens the chute. Get rid of these plump earthworms. It will be a pleasure. skeleton key gave the order, Billy and I felt the stone blocks under our feet begin to tilt. The floor seemed to drop out beneath us, and we shot down, down into blackness and oblivion. When we came to, we found ourselves at the bottom of a deep pit. One feeble ray of light fell through a tiny chink far overhead. Everywhere else was dark. <sighs> Isabel... Oh. Isabel, are you all right? Gee, I thought you'd never open your eyes. Oh, Billy, I, I had the most awful dream. I thought that we... But it's true. We, we did fall. It wasn't a dream. I'll say it wasn't. We're in the soup, all right. But, but we've got to get out. We can't. I felt all around the walls while you were unconscious. Is, isn't there any door? It's just one, and it's locked and bolted from the other side. Well, can't we yell or something? Master Key, let us out of here. Help! Oh, what's the use? Who's going to hear us? You can bet we're nowhere near the part of the lockup where Red Lantern is. We're at the very bottom of the old keep. Could, couldn't we try to climb up the wall? Uh, how can we? It's as smooth as glass. And anyway, that chink at the top is too small even to stick your hand through. <laughs> No, we, we've got to think. I, I can't think. I'm too frightened. Help! Help! Somebody! Help! Help! <laughs> that is how Bluebeard's wives call too. But no one ever heard them. No one ever came. <laughs> is, is your throat better now, Isabel? Yes, but I'm so tired. Me too. We must have gone on yelling our heads off for hours. It, it's been quite a while since we stopped. You couldn't maybe try just once more, Billy. Oh, golly, I'm as hoarse as an old crow right now. But I'll try giving one more squawk if it'll make you feel better. Uh-huh. Ow. Ow. Never mind, Billy. I'm sorry. Hello there. Hollywood. Isabel, did you hear something? Huh? It is. It's Red Lantern. Red, Red Lantern. Lantern. Help. Help. Where are you? Here. Here at the bottom of the dungeon. Where? Down below, Red Lantern. Look 
down. I, I see him. He's peeping through the hole. Uh, are you down there, Tadpole? Yes. Yes. Can't you see us? Oh, suffering starfish. I can't see a thing. It's like looking into a well. How in the name of Neptune did you get down there? Down some kind of a trick chute. The skeleton key had us dumped. There's a door here at the bottom, but it's locked. Well, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> now, now, kids. Now, kids, you, you'll just have to keep your nerve up. But nobody knows how to get to that door. This part of the lockup hasn't been used for years. Oh, Red Lantern, we've been here so long. Well, now, we'll do the best we can, but this hole up here is too little for me to squeeze through. Hey, I've got it. Red Lantern, if, if you could drop your diamond key down through the chink. My magic key? Yeah, then I think we could get out by ourselves. We just keep opening every door we came to till we got back to the top. Uh, are you sure you could catch it, Billy? It's, it's mighty dark down there, and if we lost this key, we'd be in a pretty fix. I'm, I'm looking straight up at you, and I'm the best catch in the junior league. Well, all right, then. I'll take a chance on you, Billy. Get ready. On your mark. Here goes. <laughs> Bullseye! I've got it. Come on, Isabel. Where's that door? Here, Billy, here. Oh, boy, we're through that one. Come on, Isabel. Yeah. Goodness, I'm out of breath. It's so steep. How many more doors? I don't know. Here's one. <laughs> Oh, boy, it's the last. We're out. We're up. We're in the clear. There they come, folks. And there's Red Lantern and the Master Key. And Key West. Oh, oh bless you, small fry. Bless you. If it been for Key West, we might never have found you. He suspected what the turnkey was up to. Yes, and he hurried back and reported to us. Oh, thank you, Key West. Why, nothing, ma'am. Glad to do you a good turn. But what happened to the skeleton key and the, the others? Oh, uh, never mind, Billy. But I can tell you this much. The key ring has rung its last. Were we glad to be out of that and back among friendly fish faces? And while we were locked up, Red Lantern had found the lost key to the palace pantry. So we headed back toward the great door where we'd first come in and took the next current Back to Earth, from the land of the lost. Hey, want a front row seat at the great Toyland Sea Circus? Then tune in next Saturday. Well, that's where Isabel and Billy are going. You'll meet your old friend, the Chimera, in a sideshow. Visit behind the scenes with Tumble and Tallywag the Clown. And be in on the excitement when a waltzing elephant goes on a rampage. So make a date right now with Isabel Manning Houston for next Saturday. Same time, same station for another trip to the land of the lost. The Land of the Lost is an original story by Isabel Manning Houston. The director is Cyril Armbrister. Musical background by Bob Hamilton. This is the Blue Network. <laughs>